Hi everyone and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid and today we look at Bear on the iPad and Mac and it seems it's only available for this and this is the reason why only some of you are using Bear or interested in using Bear like other apps like Things3 and so on. If you're in the Apple universe we have some apps that work awesomely well however once you need to use Windows or Android anything like this you are stuck. For me it's all about accessibility to my notes. When I take notes, I want to access them wherever I want to. So for example, tools like Notion, Roam Research, they are not working very well on the iPad in their version. I mean, Roam Research doesn't even provide an app for note taking on the iPad yet, only workarounds. However, I have web access and I think this is really something important. I want to look into Bear now because it might be the case that it is so awesome that I have a reason to stick for Bear. So let's dive into this. Now let me switch to the iPad overhead view and now we will just download Bear. The reviews seem to be great and I remember I really liked Bear for the intuitive way I can take notes like using Markdown and so on. So let's see what they changed over time. Welcome to Bear. So we have some notes on the side here. It's a distraction free note taking. I can do one tap and cut tape there and I can start writing. That's good. So we see also that we have a representation of what style we have. For example, H2 we have there. So we obviously have an image added there. Here we see how we can do the highlights. So it seems we have some proper markdown select this and then I have down there some options where I can do this. B also has a range of beautiful themes. So when I click here, it opens up directly the page of the theme. I can change the app icon. Okay, let's go back. We have Bear Pro. What is this? Added URL. Okay, so this is an indicator that that's an URL. Organize your tools with text. So I remember this and I think this is really powerful. Texts are very underestimated. If you're one of my Inner Circle members, make sure that you watch my masterclass about text versus folders where I show you how to improve your note taking. There I talk a lot about text and why we should start using more these advantages we have with text and backlinking and so on. Make sure you check out this masterclass. And this video is actually sponsored by my members not sponsored by Bear or any other company. Thank you very much for the sponsorship. And now let's dive back into Bear and what we see here talking about tags. I guess I can write tags with using a hashtag. Yes, this is a tag. Bam. Great. So it's all about tags in Bear, I guess. So we can really add tag icons to make it stick out and so on. So I think we will just dive into this more tags and sub tags. What is a sub tag? Oh, I like this. So a, a sub tag is actually that I can just write tag and make a slash and make a sub tag. So this way I will have a category, the main category tag and I have a sub tag. So there's obviously a pro version and don't tell me, oh, everything needs to be paid. Yes, of course, everything needs to be paid. Do you want them to improve their application? Do you want to feed their families? Or do you want to have something for free? There's nothing for free out there. If you can get something for free, you have to pay eventually, either with some in-app purchases or with your privacy your details, your usage data and so on, what they will use. So there's always a reason if something is for free, because obviously this is not sustainable for any company. So of course people need to charge. Here we have Bear Pro. I, I actually like it when you can get started for free. So we get a feel about this or the money back guarantee is also a good thing to have. And here we have, what are the additional features? We have sync, we can encrypt the notes, we can export notes in different variations and beautiful themes. So I think the most important feature here is to mention the synchronization between your different devices. But it seems there's no additional limitations and it's only 149 per month, come on. You're drinking more coffee then this is worth it. So this is a reasonable price. So let's see what we can do with Bear actually. Okay, let's create a new node. You see navigation is really intuitive. I really like the slide in of the different sections. And when I close them, the fact that everything will be just my node here. So the, I really like this. 
We have some other things. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So add a password is also a pro option. We have a deep link as we as I showed in craft. So when I use this deep link and I open up Safari and I add this deep link here, enter, and it will tell me open it in bear and open it up. So this is great. I can add this deep link and add it to any other device or any other tool like Evernote or anything. And it will open up bear this particular node. So let's go to the preferences and see if we can do any changes for font size. So here's the editor, typography, font size. Good, line height. See how flexible this is? Line width, paragraph spacing, very, very good. Oh, even this font we can change, <laughs> okay. It should be something readable. I stick with this, but it's great that we can change the font size. So look at this now. Now we can also change the line width. So this is this is good because in, in tools like Notion or for example in Craft, we only have full width or block. Here we can have something in between. And the paragraph spacing obviously is the space between the paragraphs. Okay, so it seems there's a bare extension. So let's open up Chrome. There we go. There is actually an extension. So this means I can add it on my Mac, for example, as an extension, and then I can save websites. So the reviews are not very good and it only works on Mac. Makes sense because that's the issue. The Chrome extensions we only have available on Mac, on Windows or any other device where you're using Chrome, but only on desktop and laptops, not on the iPad. And see, that's one of these restrictions I still have when I'm on my iPad. So many extensions are not there. This is the reason why I still prefer working on my MacBook when it comes to really get things done. And my iPad is really for the more simple stuff for brainstorming and sketching out things. So we saw a lot now. Let's just create a new node. So it adds a tag already. I can delete this better node. I like how this works. So H1. Okay, so there's no command thing. Okay, press and hold command and it will bring up a set of information here, what you can do for heading, um, bold and so on, quote. And there's actually a second page, current time. So this is going very fast. I like that. A test with uh, nested. So we cannot mention other pages. And this is something I really liked in Craft or in Notion or other things where we now really have these backlinks and we can connect the nodes with each other just by writing. And I think Bear uses tags for this, but this is not a proper page then obviously. See, it shows me now the tag. So let's create a new node. I guess there's a shortcut for this as well. So Command N will make a new node. Let's mention best again, test. So, and how do I access, well, make some checkboxes. And then when I tick them off, so we have this tag here. And when I click on the tag, I get everything related to this tag. I can come here, change the tag icon. So I add something, whatever this. I can export everything that is below the tag. So where's the list of my tags? That would be great to see. There we go. So we have the tags here. So everything that includes best will be listed here. I'm not sure if this is really the best thing to do because what I have here now, it is more or less the same as I would just search for best. Yes, I can narrow it down and you know, it's only showing the proper tags, but in the end of the day, it is just looking for best and I get these notes. But I would prefer to see now where this page was mentioned. So this is really the difference between using tags or backlinks. And I'm not sure what advantage we have now over Evernote. Yeah, when I use Evernote, I have the same option. I can act add tags. Yes, they are not in line, not yet. Maybe they add this in the future, but that's about it. In the end, I still have relevant information as tag and I will find a note that is related to this. And here it's the same, just that it's in line. Okay, I can add a date. I can add code, I can highlight stuff. Yeah, we saw this already. What about the Apple Pencil supports? So we have a button here where we can scribble something down. I'm using my Apple Pencil now. Okay, this is very fluent. That's great. Three different width. We have some color, but this is very basic. Okay, so I made this sketch now. I close this and it adds it as a picture here. I think the, is it editable then or is it done? 
yeah, it seems as soon you finish drawing something, that's it. So you can no longer edit this. Yeah, I don't show, I'm not sure if this is very helpful. So here we have the different headers. It is very basic, but it also doesn't cost much. But the thing is, is it really worth it to me? So let's say I'm using Bear now as my go-to note-taking app. The issues I see here is, yes, I can build up some documents with some text in there and it just improves my searchability. But is there really another advantage than this? Is there a proper connection between nodes? Is there some graphs building up? No, it's not. So it's more for creating some content that you want to export and, and use it somewhere else maybe. Then we have, I'm restricted to use it on my iPhone, Mac and iPad. That's fine if you're in the Apple universe, but if you're on Windows, I don't have access to my notes. So as far as I can see, there's no web access or publication as we have for craft. For a craft, for example, that I showed you in another video, check this out if you haven't already. There we have a lot more functionality with all the backlinks, but we also have the option to share our notes. Also, we only in the Apple universe, we can share it in the web like websites and people can read it wherever we want to. And I think that's a big advantage already for craft over bear. So we have checkboxes again. I still don't get it why we should do task management inside nodes because it gives me a, another layer onto my productivity system that I have to take care of. For example, I have to have specific nodes that I can track because again, in all these note taking apps like Notion, Evernote, Craft, there we have these checkboxes, but we have no search function to show me unchecked boxes. I don't understand why this is not added. If you add checkboxes, then I would like to have an option to easily search for my to-dos. And yes, I could add some hashtag there. I could add some codes, but this is not the point. Why do I need to, again to add another layer of work? So for this reason, I would never use anything like task management inside Bear. And it feels great. It is very intuitive to use. It feels very stable. And I know Bear is ar around for a long time and has a big fan base as well, but I'm not using it. So this is something in between drafts and craft, in my opinion. So I would rather use drafts because I have a lot more options when it comes to taking notes more quickly and share it easily with a lot more options to share. So actually there is an Apple Watch support there, which is great. I can talk into my Apple Watch and record notes this way directly into Bear. If I missed anything and you're a Bear user, please let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to learn more about the advantages of using Bear. Obviously we have loads of positive reviews in there. I can see it, why? Because it is, as I said, feels very good to use. But now with something like Craft coming up, Maybe only the price plays a role now. Yeah, I will keep an eye on this and all the other apps. And if you don't want to miss any updates or my new reviews coming out for productivity tools, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll catch you up next time.